Hello, my name is Steve Plant and I am CEO and founder of WitchFX. This week in London is Fintech Week and we are hosting an event at the Lloyd's Atrium building in the Barbican. The event is a panel discussion event where we are hoping to identify exactly what is required to make the next new Fintech unicorn. So, will WitchFX be the new Fintech unicorn? Let's wait and see. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. You're very welcome here today. So, um, for those of you that haven't been here before, this is the home of group transformation for Lloyds Banking Group. So, uh, my name is Tom Cody. I work in innovation and strategy upstairs on the fourth floor in here. We often um, host our own events in here as well, which is the next big thing. Some of you may remember them as the Espresso Martini series. It's good to see a few of you from those here today. Um, we're really pleased to be able to partner and what we're looking to do more and more now is partner with other meetups so that we can really start to build that network and ecosystem and learn from each other and get the opportunity to, to collaborate and to network um, and to find out new stuff and learn. Um, tweet tonight, so you'll see a live Twitter screen here which we are running off of the hashtag, um, which is the, one of the hashtags which we use, which is hashtag LBG underscore NBT. And we'll also be running the hashtag we are fintech. So any tweets that you want to add and join to the conversation will be displayed there as well. So, I'm going to hand over now to Max, who's going to take us through the rest of the evening. So, but you're very welcome, and we'll speak to you very soon. Cheers. Brilliant. Thank you so much, Tom. Uh, please a hand for Tom for the next big thing, the Lloyds Banking Group, for very kindly hosting us and even feeding us and monitoring us too. Thank you so much. Uh, so, a quick reminder on who are. This is a We Are So We Are Fintech and Fintech for Good meetup. The person who puts in all the hard work to make these things happen. Can we have a quick round of applause for Z, who hates the attention? <laughs> Thanks very much. So that is who we are. There is also the hashtags we are fintech and fintech for good. My name is Max Carlis. I actually used to work here at Lloyd's Banking Group in the Innovation Labs. I now work for Start Design, where you do branding, digital, and retail design for clients who are going through interesting changes. Um, so do let me know if you're interested in any of those. Kind of, none of that's important. What's really important is actually you folks out here. My job tonight is basically two things. It's to make sure you leave here smarter than you arrived and you don't regret wasting this beautiful evening. So if you don't feel you're getting that at any point, shout out. This is a place where you're welcome to heckle, particularly if they're directed at me rather than the other speakers. Um, I can take it, but what I would hate is for anyone to sit there thinking they're not getting what they want. Please do shout. Um, definitely a drink in it for the best heckle of the night. Um, great, so at this point, you may well be aware that we have lightning pitches. So these events, they're very informal, they're very open. We love to make use of the thousands of people in the group and the hundreds who turn up to each of these events. It's a chance to share your story with the community of fintech enthusiasts. So. You may be looking to hire, you may be looking for investments, you might just want to tell a story about your product. Um, I know we prepped up some of these in advance, but even if you haven't worked that out in advance, um, we give anyone who wants it 60 seconds if they've got a story that they want to share with this audience. So, um, folks, those of you who know you want to do a lightning pitch, do you just want to come up a bit closer? And I'm going to be the bossy guy with the stop clock who gives them each exactly 60 seconds. If we could have a warm round of applause, folks, for... Everybody who's coming up to tell their story. It looks like we've got about a half dozen or so. Um, so this is 60 seconds. Should you, during watching other people get inspired and decide, actually, I do have a story to tell, it's very open, you're very welcome. Uh, just come up to the side here. So let's get going with our first lightning pitch. Would you like to come up, sir, as you're the nearest? And your 60 seconds will start when I can work this out. I will give you this one. So, your 60 seconds. That's not fair, he hasn't got the microphone. <laughs> Hi, uh, my name's James Flavin. I am the chief exec of a startup called Kite Edge. Uh, Kite Edge uh, is, I guess, a Google for asset managers, would be the simple way of putting it. So we're a search engine targeted predominantly at the asset management industry. But the technology can be applied to pretty much any market uh, sector that's out there. Uh, why search engines? Because search is terrible. It hasn't really changed since the late 90s. Existing methods of searching tend to be good at one thing and terrible at another. 
And the other main reason is the asset management industry is going through a huge amount of change because of financial regulation uh, and the market environment, so the active to passive story, if you're familiar with that, uh, that's playing out. So we are late stage, uh, we have a lot of interesting people involved, the uh, GPC team at Stanford University are backing us, we have members of uh, both the buy side and the sell side that are part uh, of what we are doing. Uh, I'm reaching out today now because uh, we are looking for one final investor uh, and also we have something called the Ontology Project, if that means anything to you, if you know what Ontology is, please get in Done. contact. Done. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hi everyone, so I'm Steve Podmore. My business is Big Crowd, uh, bigcrowd.net. Uh, we've worked for about four years to figure out how to address the sustainable development goals and all the issues that underlie those big issues of modern times. What we're building is essentially a collaboration and funding platform. It's part fintech and it's part marketing tech. Now, because what we're doing is an impact investment, we've really struggled to raise the 10 million of equity that we needed to launch this project. It's been, frankly, not easy. And uh, so what we've had a major breakthrough is that we can actually crowdfund our project on our own platform, bigcrowd.net, which will be starting early August, uh, with a really simple way of pre-selling subscriptions and giving coins in advance of an ICO that we want to do in early 2020. It's a really exciting mechanism, and it's really about changing the world by enabling people to collaborate on the things they care about. If you want a card, cards are on the table over there. Love you to be involved. Excellent, excellent. Keep them coming, keep them coming. Can I get a quick check on who's coming to do lightning pitches? One, two, three. Okay, great. Off you go. Hello everyone, my name is Gabriel Regis Charles. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Cap Ratio. Cap Ratio in a nutshell is a wealth management for the underserved. And what I mean by underserved is those who earn under 30,000 a year and are from communities of colour and mainly some immigrants. Really. So that's who we look after. Cap Ratio solves two problems. One is that we give access to this crowd because really it's it, it wealth management for those who are earning a certain amount. Also we do education. Um, we also have a priority tech called Cap Risk, which means that we, in our education, we actually apply a risk variable to a vulnerable person who wants to invest for the first time so that they get insured and get protected properly. Um, we've been around for just over, a, well, under a year now. Uh, there's 80 percent of the team, based in London and Brussels. We are closing our first seed round, so we are looking for another 250. Um, we have about 1,100 people signed up so far to try it out, and uh, that's it. I like that. Quick. Thank you very much. Excellent. Next one. This is Emmanuel. He's a self-employed driver in London, and while he loves the freedom and flexibility of working when he wants, um, he does get a bit nervous uh, when uh, work is a bit slow, or he needs to take holiday, or um, he gets sick. And he really stresses out when he needs to find the money to fix his car. Um, sorry. Um, he doesn't have a pension, life insurance, uh, God forbid, a mortgage. Uh, my name's Alicia Wanzik. I'm the head of marketing at Trezio. There, Emmanuel's not alone. There are almost five million self-employed people in the UK who, uh, who struggle with income volatility and uncertainty. Trezio addresses this. Um, we are the UK's first income smoothing um, product for the self-employed. We just recently got our FCA authorization. Um, we've got all the tools in place that we need to grow and really scale this up, but we are um, currently undergoing an investment round. So if anyone wants to talk to me about the, the future of uh, finance for the self-employed, let me know. Thanks. Cool. Hi everyone, my name is Ali Fikeki, I'm the head of growth at Lockbox. Uh, millions of people are financially excluded because of their credit, uh, because of their credit history. Unfortunately, the options for people with poor credit or thin credit uh, are not very good. Get a credit card, but what if you can't get a credit card because of your poor credit? So we built Lockbox. Lockbox is a way to save and grow your credit at the same time. You can pick between £20 and £500 uh, to pay every month, and we will report those payments uh, to the all three credit reference agencies. By the end of the year, you get all your money back and a better credit history to boot. I think we'll be a billion dollar company because uh, for consumers, we give them the opportunity to participate in the financial services system. 
For banks, we give a steady flow of aspirational, creditworthy customers. For lenders, we give them a uh, flow of data about how uh, well, whether their users can repay and also give them positive solutions if they need to decline customers. Uh, and for the credit, re credit reference agencies, we give them data about uh, customers who, um, who, sorry, Anyway, lockbox.co.uk, loqbox.co.uk. Thanks. Hello, everyone. My name is Daniel. Uh, I work with Photoset, and uh, we live in an age of misinformation and missing, miscommunication. So, a lot of what we see isn't necessarily what it truly is. So, Photoset is a software solution that certifies the authenticity of an image or a video, and does that using AI as well to interpret information from the image. Now that's especially useful if you consider purchasing something from an online classified site where you want to know the true condition of an item. Uh, in online dating, you want to be sure what you see is what you get, no more catfishing. Uh, in an incident where you have a car crash, you then take photos of the damage and then you can send that to your insurer. And because this information is certified, they know exactly what's going on and they can start processing the claim. If I asked you to think of a fizzy beverage, non-alcoholic, and dark in color, you would think Coca-Cola. Our goal is really to be the thing you think of when it comes to certified images and video. Oh, excellent, excellent. Keep coming, we're into our final few. Hi, we are here to transform messengers into payment terminals. My name is Michael, I'm founder and CEO at CoinyPay. So CoinyPay, is a white-label chatbot technology provider for banks, financial institutions, like payment service providers. So we develop chatbots, and we already have clients like OTP Bank, a letter of intent with Sweet Bank, and uh, Pacer, Pacer is a BSP. So um, yeah, it's three things. We develop chatbots in our own proprietary chatbot studio. We have lots of clients already, and more of them coming, hopefully in England, in London as well. We are pitching tomorrow on a roadshow, and we are taking pay, pain out of payments. Michael from CoinyPay. Thank you. Okay, I wrote it down. It's all right. It's, it's, it's heartfelt. It's heartfelt. Well, we're about to find out. Okay, the last financial crisis, with the greatest respect, uh, made many of us realize that a bank isn't necessarily the safe deposit of our money. Once you put money in the bank, it ceases to be yours. In fact, the bank lends it out, and as we have seen, some banks can go bust. It also made us ask, why should it be that our money is worth less tomorrow than it is today? One pound used to buy me a lot of chocolate bars, now it only buys me one, and it's smaller. The policies of central banks erode the value of our money and ways are out of our control. <coughs> of course, the solution that exist, uh, existed for millennia, that solution is gold. Gold is created only when two neutron stars collide. It can't be corrupted and has proven to be the best store of value. However, recently it hasn't been a good medium of exchange. So we raised seven and a half million pounds and built Glint, Glint Pay, to reintroduce gold as money in electronic payments, an alternative solution to banking and money to protect you from the destructive effects of inflation and systemic risk. For the first time as a global currency, it can be saved and spent on electronic payments. I hope that you download our app and become a client. And our crowdfunding starts tomorrow alongside our Series A. Hi everyone, my name is Elian Saporta, I'm the founder of Coriander. What we do is we help companies launch faster. We are a backend as a service provider for fintechs, e-commerce startups, and payment service provider. We are a PCI level one gateway and registered with Visa and MasterCard. And what we do, we help our customers manage customers, their customers, merchants, affiliates, connectivity to over 300 acquiring banks and alternative solutions and the management of the relationship between the different types of entity. If you have an idea for a peer-to-peer -peer payment e-commerce platform, you want to launch a PSP, we can launch a PSP within five days from agreement to first live transaction. We're currently global with customers from Cyprus, Malta, Hong Kong, Costa Rica, India, Brazil, and South Africa. And we're right now expanding to other markets. We don't have a customer in London yet, so if you're a customer, payment service provider, or an investor that's willing to jump to, in with the rest of our investor, we'll be more than happy to accept you. Thank you. Hello, Hi. I'm Daniel Wu, and I'm the CEO and founder of WebNetSynergy.com. We evaluate startups and ICOs and connect them to partners and investors. And we're 
very, very good at it. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's how the skills show. Good work. On the one hand, um, insurance companies crave for new sources of data. On the other hand, sharing economy platforms are sitting on gold mines of data. But those two sides, they can't marry, because uh, people on sharing economy platforms, they are not identified. So we've developed bijectional verification that allows account attribution without identification. So we marry both sides. We unlock sharing economies users' data for insurers, primarily for property and casualty insurers. This is called reputation transfer, reputrans.com. Thank you. Great. I think that is all of the lightning pitches. Brilliant. Thank you very much. Um, what a great community. What a bunch of inspiring people. Thank you very much for sharing what you're up to with all of us here. So the format of tonight following our lightning pitches is we have a, a little presentation from Steve for 10 minutes. Uh, we will then have our panel. Please do prep some questions. Steve will be on the panel, so we'll do that together. Um, but please do prep your questions throughout. Um, we've got a lot of great experts in the room and you must pick their brains. Uh, I'll have some questions for them, but we really want to bring you in. So, we're ready to go. Steve, um, if we could have a big hand, please welcome Steve. He's going to give us...